Hi, everybody. Hello, Theo. How are you doing? Excellent. How, Excellent. Are, you, how are you, sir? Doing very well. Very happy to do another Harry Potter video. Another? Another one. Oh, my goodness. You're going to love this one. Basically, my take is that Hogwarts is the most dangerous thing in this wizarding world. It is the the main responsible party for all the things that the calamities in the story. It is a factory that, that, that produces psychopaths. There should be severe oversight over Hogwarts and mm. Dumbledore should be fired and mm. maybe even go to jail. Ooh. That's what I think. So do you agree? Well, sir, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued to you hear your too. arguments, sir. I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay, so there have been several studies done, specifically in the UK, not only, about boarding schools. Mm. Hogwarts is a boarding school, right? Yes. It means it's not a day school. It means that the students don't go back to sleep every day at their own ho house with their parents. They stay at the school with a lot of other kids and a few teachers. Boarding school syndrome. You have a great deal of difficulty connecting with the full range of your emotional life. You have trouble forming attachments, trouble maintaining intimate relationships. You come out basically emotionally disabled. Correct. A lot of these people end up in positions of leadership. That's part of the point of being sent to private school and particularly to boarding school that you turn into a leader of men, as they put it. The ruling class in England that all went to boarding schools right. and clearly made them all into psychopaths. They feel less empathy right. towards people. Right. They're more manipulative, mm. more conniving, mm more motivated to get ahead uh, at the expense of others. I can see that. So we end up with an elite, with people in positions of power who, who are emotionally damaged. Don't touch anything, Draco. That's a very dangerous place to be because children who are taught to deny their own feelings also learn to deny other people's feelings. Right. There's more bullying going on there, more competitiveness, Right, well, you don't see anyone you love, you know, or, or you don't see the people that, that raised you, taught you right from wrong. I mean, if you're just around your friends and competitors and people who tell you what to do, I mean, what you either bond and make familial relations with right. the other kids, right. or, or you're a psychopath. Oh, which way are you going, Longbottom? So I would say that Hogwarts has created all these psychopaths <laughs> and cool. Voldemort. Let's look at what happens in Hogwarts. All right. Oh. <laughs> I have a daughter. Some of you have children. You will be a father soon. Yes. When they're watching it, you're already a father. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It feels amazing. I don't want to say it. Jinx it, whatever. Yeah, Let's move on. Yeah, that's wood. Yeah. Wood. It's not wood. It's not wood. Wood. There's no, actually, there's no wood in this. Uh, yeah. It's wood under there. So parents send their children to this school. And what happens there is extreme bullying going on within your class from, other, from, from higher classes. Because right, you're surrounded by other kids. By other kids. And other kids are terrible. And so take these terrible kids and give them magical powers. Put your magical powers! So not only emotional uh, bullying, but physical bullying going on here. Like transfiguration. Transfiguration. Curses. Curses. Jinxes. Jinxes. Kids doing to one another. Like Harry's father. Right. Was a big old bully. <gasps> right. Who wants to see me take off Snivelly's trout? Imagine just like the worst assholes that you've had in school, yeah. but now give them magical powers and oh make them God. stronger than you in magic. So, and, and you have nowhere to run. You have nowhere to run. Oh You're there right. the entire time. The entire time. Yeah. And this actually started to show also makes people who have gone through similar experiences like boarding schools. They've, they've done all kinds of studies with, uh, with apes. They become worse parents. Mm. to their children, mm, less empathetic, mm -hmm. more violent, more aggressive. So, so just think about 400 years of Hogwarts. 
a system that is psychopathic in character. That, that doesn't mean that everyone in that system is a psychopath by any means. It means that in aggregate, the system does not take responsibility for its actions, does not empathise with or even recognise its own victims. Creating psychopaths after psychopaths after, and, and then raising new psychopaths mm. without anywhere to alleviate this pressure. And this, okay, so we just talked about the bullying What about, by other students. What about the bullying from the fucking teachers? Oh no, you don't, know, Sonny! Ah! I teach you to curse someone when their back is turned. Professor Moody! What, what are you doing? Teaching. This is some crazy shit. If you send your kid to school and the teacher says, I will sleep, to, uh, I will sleep uh, something into your, into your drink, Harry. Should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might just slip over your morning pumpkin. Truth serum. Without you knowing. Right. Would that, how would that go here in the US if a teacher would threaten to put something in the, key, in the child's drink? Or we'd get rid of her. <laughs> you know, we would... Very quickly. Parents, associations, we'd have... We'd be protesting. I mean, they'd be flamed, roasted. This is incredible. Done. <laughs> Where she was uh, making Harry basically scar the I will not be a bad boy right. or whatever no phrase lie, in his skin. Like that, I will yeah. not tell lies. Like, yeah, that was legitimate torture. So if he had gone home every day, every night, let's say he also had like normal parents, so they would see that and would say, what the fuck is that? And I'm going to talk to the commission because you need oversight. Umbridge not only did that, she wanted to flog the Weasley twins. Flog them, flog them. Oh my goodness, this is a crazy school. It's a crazy school. You leave me with no alternative. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. What Cornelius doesn't know won't hurt him. But what about Filch? You murdered my cat. Oh. Oh, come here! Oh, mm. He was a closeted Nazi for like five <laughs> books until he was just like, okay, now I can finally be a... Hated uh, children. He hated, hated children. children. Yeah, yeah. Why is he working at that school? What is Dumbledore thinking about? This is the headmaster who hired him. This is, this is true. Dumbledore has mysterious ways, you know? So you would just accept if your child was at the school, you would say, okay, I, the, prime, the, the headmaster is... Uh, He's a smart guy, so I will let <laughs> so I will let all this shit go on. What about how Snape uh, uh, tortures uh, emotionally Neville? Just bullies Neville to death, and also Harry. Yeah. Is there anybody here who would allow this to happen to their child by their teacher? No. We would not accept that. Not nowadays, but I feel like there's in the last however many years, like people are much more uh, yeah, yeah. sensitive about. Right. But also in the story, the, uh, Filch says that we used to be able to really do some stuff oh, back right, in the yeah. day. Now we can't do that anymore, but back in the day. A pity they let the old punishments die. Was a time detention would find you hanging by your thumbs in the dungeons. So we have the, the, the students bullying each other. Right. We have the teachers bullying the students. Three well, even years. the nice teacher, right, the, the one everyone loves, in charge of care of magical creatures is visiting dangerous, like flesh eating monsters. Back off, Harry, back off. On the students, Still. like, right. con like he just says, hey, get this textbook. The textbook tries to eat you, apparently, right? And that's just, you have to get that. Like, you have to, first of all, you have to buy it. And textbooks are hella expensive. Yeah. And then it, it is like guaranteed to try to eat you. So, and, and he's a nice guy. Right, and he takes you to the tension, he goes and takes you to the, the very, very dangerous uh, forest. He just says, just go on the trail. Yeah, just don't ever go to the forest, ever, 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 unless you have detention and you're mandated right. to go there. And then you go by yourself. By Harry. yourself. Just go by yourself. At night. Yeah, at night. We know that, the, that the, the, there is some very, very evil stuff going on there, so you just go ahead and take, the, take this, this, ch this child with you. So maybe this brings me to another thing. The fact, so you can, bu you can be a bully, but then you see the consequences. If you hit a boy in the face, you break, his, you, you break his nose, then you can see the consequence, and unless you're really a psychopath, 
then you feel, uh, you feel strong. But there, there are no real consequences because you can break anything. Brrr, it just fix you up. That's true. So that makes you feel that there are no consequences no to your problem. actions. You can do whatever you want. I can do that again. I can break your nose a thousand times. Right. Who cares? Right. I think this is a very, <laughs> very, very bad thing for kids. To, to just imagine that your kid can do anything he wants with no consequences. Mm -mm. But this is the thing is obviously these, these are done for narrative reasons, right? These are the school she wanted, I think, to, to feel like almost like an alternate school that kids can read about, right? That almost makes them like their own school in a way. Like I think there has this, this familiarity, for part of why the books have this longevity is the experience of going to school and being in those sort of stages of development feel like really on point with where where she was at with the different ages and how obviously the structures of it are just like the structures of school and going through these cycles because you see you know when summer break is coming you know when you know you know when like Christmas is you know all, all these things that are relevant in life so I think part of that boarding school experience was to like you know, kind of dramatize, isolate the right. the, the parallel re the, of schooling experience right. for the readers. Mm -hmm. Also, it, it, I think it wouldn't work as well if they went every every night to sleep at home. Then, like the narrative, the flow would be cut off. No, it wouldn't work. Right, it wouldn't work. They have to be also isolated from from parental supervision, so she could go crazy. Because if she doesn't go crazy, then there's the story there's no is not story. as interesting, right? Right, and it's it's also one of, one of the things you want to do when writing books for young readers is. Um, you know, to have the adults really be on the periphery, so the primary relationships yeah. would be between the kids. So, yeah, making them sleep, all that, all that stuff makes sense. However, this is boarding school, and it's terrible, and it's right. probably accurate to how terrible boarding school is. Just with magic. <laughs> but with magic. <laughs> but with magic. Another thing that is very, very similar to boarding schools is the pressure to succeed academically. In Hogwarts, it is insane. People faint. They puke, they lose their mind, there's, there's so much homework to do, and then the preparation for the test, and the test, and did you succeed, did you not succeed? I would never subject my daughter to something like that. I would tell her it's not that important. You don't have to be the first in your class, and just, it's just, it's very unhealthy, and very, very uneducational, and you know what would have been very educational? If they would learn at school, what, we, what you were talking about in another video, morality, the, mora the moral use of your powers. They just mm. learn their craft, but there's no philosophy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Even their history is like the, more, the most boring uh, topic. The worst they subject. Have. Right. Worst subject because it's just like this happened, this Listing happened, facts. this happened. Yeah. Right. What about learning from history how to not have another Voldemort or right. crazy people and how to treat others with powers, without powers? This doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. This is a very, very bad school. I think really they need to have some stronger oversight and regulations. And that Dumbledore fellow, I don't know. He's no good. I would prefer, I'm, I'm with Malfoy. <laughs> you need to check, <laughs> the Malfoy Sr. You need to check this. Uh, okay, but Malfoy Sr. was the reason everything is terrible with, with Hogwarts. He's, he's a victim. Of this education. <laughs> He's a victim of those SJWs. Yes, yeah, no, yeah. he used to be, he, he could have been such a nice, such a nice man, but he was emotionally tor tortured at that school, scarred. Interesting take. He's not responsible for He was emotionally actions. tortured by Dobby the house elf, <laughs> who, who bound him in, in reverse servitude. No, but yeah. this is like you, you, you can look at certain populations and see that they, have, uh, that they have more crime. You can't just come in at the end of the story and just say more, uh, they, 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 they commit more crimes, so hence they are more violent. No, there are circumstances. So the circumstances that make wizards so dangerous mm, is are boarding, school. are boarding uh. schools, crazy boarding schools, not learning... Uh, uh, consequences, boundaries, mm. you can do whatever you want. Empathy. Empathy, just like uh, also how to look, ideology, like how to look at the world. Mm -hmm. I think this explains so many things. And it just, it just shows you Hogwarts is going to produce another genocidal maniac. It's just, it's, it's inevitable. inevitable. 
Unless they, they put that into the curriculum. Like. Unless they figure out, they need a no genocidal maniac, <laughs> like major, you know? <laughs> and you come out of school Basically. and you'll be, the first thing you want to know is, is like, is this guy going to be a genocidal maniac? And he'll be like, no, I majored in not being mm. that. <laughs> and he'll be like, all right. Hogwarts How much did you score? Yeah, How much yeah, did you score? Right. If you scored like a C, okay, you still <laughs> might be yeah, a genocidal yeah, maniac. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so they didn't solve any problem in the story. It's just like going to go on and go on. And it's not Dumbledore's fault, right? Because then uh, the system stays the same with, uh, what's her name, uh, McGonagall, now that she's uh, in charge. Mm -hmm. New boss, same as the old boss. The wizards, more than everybody else, more than the muggles, they have to learn uh, uh, how to behave, how to be in the world, because they are more susceptible to dangerous ideologies that are racist or quasi-racist, right? That I am better than everybody else. I have these powers. I'm going to use the, my God-given powers and abilities in the world. Why shouldn't I? So I think that um, even more than uh, us muggles learn about uh, why we shouldn't uh, be racist, it's even more important that, uh, that they do. You're a teacher. Mm. Okay, give your take as a teacher. If you say the wrong thing to one of your students, how quickly will someone let you know about it? And um, you teach in college. Right, I teach in college. Um, nowadays, you really got to be respectful of your students, first and foremost. Like, not everyone necessarily agrees with you, understands where you're coming from, and, you know, you just got to, you know, if you treat, them with re treat everyone with respect, you treat your students with respect, you'll be good. But the, especially now, the ability that students have to, you know, um, uh, create a fervor or something, especially if you've said something offensive. Uh, yeah, like they, you know. Yeah, they have tools. They, yeah, absolutely. There's tools. But, I, you know, I, this could be a good thing. Okay, okay. So, what do you think about Hogwarts? Is Hogwarts to blame for everything? I would say definitely, yes. Definitely. Uh, but speak your mind in the comments and if you'd like to see Should more. Should we close it? Hard close hard Hogwarts? Video. Yes. Leave it open, close it. Close it. Close it down. Yeah. Close yeah. It. Or maybe just build uh, the na the neighborhoods, residential neighborhoods around it. Build so the, the residential parents can live it. near their children. I think maybe, or, or just put all the wizards in cages because they're very, very dangerous. <laughs> that, that, that sounds better. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. just put them in cages. And then kill them. Yeah. You have to kill the terrorists because before they kill you. Yeah. Boom. That's the message of this video. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you patrons for supporting the channel. You can check out our Patreon page on patreon.com slash GOT Academy, GOT Academy, and subscribe to get all our videos. And if you're already subscribed, did you know that there's like a bell, little bell down below? And if they click it, they will get an email whenever we post a new video. And that way they will not miss any GOT Academy video oh, ever. So you just have to click the bell. Just click the bell. Just do it. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching. We don't need no education.